Hey, what is going on, guys? It is Link's Warlord here, bringing you a tips video on how to do better on Arcaden, guys, because Arcaden is one of those maps where there's so many variables and it's so difficult to do consistently well on this map because there's so many doors, there's so many exits, there's so many entry points, and it's an absolute nightmare. This, for me, is one of the worst maps in Call of Duty history, if not by far the worst. And I'm talking about going back to the worst ones out of Call of Duty 5 and Call of Duty 4, but this one was just absolutely awful, this map. And it's awful for one reason is that there's too many things to look out for like where I am right now they could come from behind to the left to the front and there's just there's so many spawns to remember and there's so many places to remember and it's just so difficult and by the way never go up where that guy was you look absolutely huge and you're just a massive target so stay away from that balcony and stay away from that glass if possible but never ever come out onto that little ledge it's just instant death guys but uh, that's if you're in the lobby with me but anyway guys how to do good on this map now I'm really excited because I finally got a good tactic workout for worked out for this map and that is to only go inside when you're going to get kills kind of thing i know this is call of duty and we're all going to get kills and we're all after kills but i am I'm on, I, on orchidan from now on only go inside when you're absolutely 100 percent pre prepared to be killed from whichever angle which is why you see me whenever i go on a streak i'm pretty reluctant to go inside and i'm going to stick to the walls when i'm going inside the reason i stick the walls when i'm on a high streak is so i I don't have to watch the wall basically I know there's a wall there when there's a wall there there's not an enemy there kind of thing okay so I'm I'm kind of shortening my arc of vision and I'm moving around the map I'm using the map to my advantage and uh, I'm not rushing the spawns too much because uh, if you rush the spawns on Arcaden the problem is they won't spawn next to you they'll spawn in an advantage point next to you like if you kill someone and he's uh, you know just on the stairs he'll spawn above you in a room next to the stairs kind of thing so he's got the jump on you he's not just spawning next to you he's spawning in an advantage point next to you which is much worse and I take my first death there guys and I was pretty disappointed because I thought that I was onto a pretty good gameplay on Arcden which is very rare for me because Arcden I just I just can't understand this map and whenever I play this map I always think what the hell were they thinking making this map this map is awful it's just not designed for anything it's just annoying you know and unless the enemies are literally just standing in a corner who don't know how to play the game it's a pretty boring map to play because it's just so difficult to do well on and it's annoying and like right there guys you see when I killed that guy the problem I have is that back there there would be new players spawning with full health and that's the problem because I've just had an engagement where I'm weak I haven't got full health and uh, I could easily die and that's really really annoying in Modern Warfare 3 and it does happen a lot on Arcaden. Now the way I'm using the map is uh, definitely a key point to mention about Arcaden is that the map is definitely your worst enemy. Now at this point I've explained how bad the map is and how bad the spawns are and everything but uh, try and use it to your advantage you know the th Arcaden is quite a square map it's blocky and it's square so what you need to do is try and flank around never just run straight through the middle of it never go through a constant line of sight you know try and duck to the right duck to the left and remember doorways are key you know try and always walk through a doorway and the reason you want to walk through a doorway is because you're gonna be up and ready to kill someone because you know the spawns are so bad and you know the way the map moves a lot of players are always sprinting because it's such a small map and when it's a small map players sprint more to get to places more to get to their engagements more and when a player is sprinting he's twice as easy to kill as a player who's aiming down the site shooting you guys trust me now class loadout for Arcaden, definitely a submachine gun or a shotgun. Now I never suggest shotguns in my videos but the reason a shotgun is going to be good on Arcaden is because it's so tightly cornered you know there's, n there's very very few big lines of sight on Arcaden that can really damage you if you've got a submachine gun or uh, um, a shotgun and you know snipers on Arcaden never be a sniper on Arcaden okay if you want to have a little bit of fun and just piss people off yeah run around sniping with an MSR quick scoping or whatever it is you know like machine guns no they're too heavy you need to be able to run to advantage points on this map you know and you've got to remember the advantage points unlike any other map aren't long lines of sight you know in uh, what is it again bootleg in bootleg it's a long line of sight in village it's a long line of sight and Arcaden it's a sh it's just an advantage point you're looking for advantage points and advantage points are not long lines of sight on this map other you know like on on bootleg it's the left corridor where the beef leg is that's a big long advantage site you know but this isn't guys this arcaden you've got to be really quick you've got to be really snappy you might even want to change your sensitivity for when you're playing on this map because you need to be able to turn corners fast and i'm i'm playing on a three sensitivity at the moment without control freaks just playing on a normal three and i've been really really loving that lately i've been jumping around killing enemies killing bitches all day guys it's been a lot of fun and uh, yeah the pavlo is now out on arcaden and i do recommend 
recommend using the pave law on there Arca then because the AC130 is absolutely horrific guys now the only other thing I will recommend would be using the advanced UEV in the support care package because the advanced UEV on Arca then can be really really nice but the only problem is that if you call it in you don't know which level they're on and Arcadent is a two story map which I forgot to mention but uh, yeah guys it has been Link's Wallet I hope this video helps you to get better at Arcadent I know it's an awful map but I wish you the best of luck playing Arcadent guys and I'm out